Hello, Lydia Stevens here, senior handler at the Internet Storm Center. This is a video for a diary entry that I wrote about looking into log files, uh, extracting information from uh, log files here, uh, a network activity log file. So I have the file here, it is gzip compressed. So I can dis decompress this with gnzip. Let me show you part of the file, the beginning. So that's how that format looks like. Every network event, every connection, for example, is on a separate line with information, with fields, and each value of a field is preceded by the field name equal. I'm told that this format is called logfmt, but uh, I, I'm not sure about that. I don't find information about this, for example, on uh, Wikipedia. So, what do I want to do? For a particular source IP address, I want to know what the public destination IP addresses were for that log. So I'm going to filter, first of all, for that source IP address. I'm interested in source IP 192.168.202.106. And here you have them. Now a couple of things. First of all, the dot here, that's a special character in regular expressions, so we need to escape that. And next, in this case it's not important because we have three digits, but let's say that we have only two digits at the end, then, then it might also match something like 106. So in that case you would put a, a space after it, the separator. So. 106 space. Okay. Now I'm going to apply a regular expression to get the destination IP addresses. So this IP equals anything, any character that is not a space character. Okay. Now I just want the IP address, not all the rest of the line. So I define a capture group, a parenthesis around the expression, the part of the expression that represents the IPv4 address, and then I say list capture groups. I have them here. Now I also want to do away with these private IP addresses. This can be done with the extract IP addresses operation. Now we actually don't need to extract IP addresses because we already have them. But the thing is about extract IP addresses, it has an option, remove local IPv4 addresses. So I enable this. And now I only have public destination IP addresses. And just let's make some statistics, unique. So these are the two destinations and I'm going to add the display count and that's how many entries we have. So that is how you can quickly extract information um, like destinations. Now, just one other thing, let me show you, let me duplicate this. And um, let me disable these operations. Okay, yeah, I need to take the input file again. Okay, so I'm going to now look at the protocol. Proto, this. Okay, UDP, and let's do a unique. So I have mostly UDP and some TCP. So let's see what we have here for those destination IP addresses. So I'm going to add another filter right after the source IP filter and here I say proto equals UDP okay that's what we have and proto TCP nothing just the one that, that's the counter for the empty line so if you do away with that you have nothing so what we have here is just uh, UDP connections 